actually a lot. I got more to say. I got more to say about this trash ass team. Let's talk about this game a little bit. All right, we're going to go straight, straight into the last drive of the game for the Saints. First down, we run Elvin Kamara right up the middle because that's the only play Pete Carmichael knows. That's the only thing he damn knows is Elvin Kamara up the middle for three yards. That's his favorite play in the playbook. I think it's not even a call. I think he just get in the huddle and say, tell Andy Dalton on the headset, hey, Elvin Kamara up the middle, let's get them two yards. We do that. I'm not mad at it. The Bucs call a timeout. Okay, you get three yards. They call a timeout. It's about 250 left. One first down, you're probably going to win this game. On second down, on second down, you take Chris Olave, a guy that's probably going to be rookie of the year. Or he, he probably was, but we just have such a shit offense, we can't give him the ball, so he's probably not going to win that anymore. You take Rasheed Shaheed, who's having a, a great game. They can't guard him. They got safety help over top because they're scared of his speed. You take Jarvis Landry, who has some big catches on the day. You take Taysom Hill, and you take them all out of the football game. All out of the football game. And what do you do after that? You run a fucking play action. A play action to who? You took Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave, Rasheed Shaheed, and I think Elvin Kamara. You took them all off the field, and you run a play action. And what happens? We get sacked for 12 yards. Of course we get fucking sacked for 12 yards. No one's on the field to catch the ball. Who's going to run a route? Who? This guy has absolutely no idea. He has no idea what he's doing as an offensive coordinator. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And then on third down, we actually make a good play. Taysom Hill drops the ball. I can't blame him. Uh, Good hit. Good hit by the safety. But we need him to hang on to that ball. It's just simple as that. You got to catch that ball, man. That's a season. That's a season changing play. You catch that ball, the game over. But the game should have ended because Mark Ingram, dumbass, went out of bounds. But I think we talked about that enough, man. <sighs> now I'll just I'll give credit to some guys. Uh, I didn't do that last video, so I'll try to give credit to some guys that I think played well. Offensive line, I think they held up well. We're getting no push in that run game, but the Bucks the run defense has always been pretty good, especially against the Saints because we just going to run it right up the middle. So I'm not even mad at the offensive line. I think in pass protection, they held up for the most part. That first quarter, we couldn't pick up the blitz. We changed some things up. We started picking it up. Don't know why it took you know uh, them to get a couple sacks for us to start changing things. We changed some things, got that taken care of. Got that taken care of, man. Like I said, Rashid E, man, in the punt return game, he's getting closer and closer and closer and closer every week to breaking one. I think special teams was really, really good today. Blake Gilligan had some nice punts. Uh, Dead Shank won uh, towards the end of the game, but he did have some nice punts. Co coverage was great. Kickoff was great. Will Lutz made field goals, uh, made his extra point. Rashid E, great in the return game. So special teams played great. Defense, for the most part, I'm giving them a C. I'm giving defense a C. Yeah, they played good for three quarters, but when it was time to show up, you fucking folded. You folded bad. You folded real, real bad. Straight paper. Folded your ass up like origami. Awful. And I don't care if it was one player or two players. At the end of the day, when it's time to make plays, we didn't make plays. And that goes for anybody. A Debo didn't make a play. Alante ain't make a play. Demario ain't make a play. Cam ain't make a play. Tyron ain't make a play. Kate Ellis ain't make a point. Two for... Two first didn't make a play. Anyamata didn't make a play. Marcus May didn't make a play when it was time for somebody on that defense to step up and make a play when they really counted. Nobody did. Same on offense. But I'm giving them a pass because we ain't got no offensive coordinator. We ain't got no offensive coordinator out there. That man took Olave, Rashid Shaheed, and Jarvis Landry off the field and ran a play action and was fucking surprised when we got sacked for 12 yards. That's just absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, disgusting, disgusting football. Disgusting behavior by that coaching staff. I want them all gone. Please, Gail, I don't know if you're listening to this. If you are, excuse my language, but fire them dumbasses today. Save yourself the money. Save yourself the heartache. Save yourself the stress. Save me the stress. Save me the heartache. I do not want Dennis Allen or Pete Carmichael near this team. Near this team. Fuck you too, Sean Payton. Just because, matter of fact, leaving us and shit. Man, Sean Payton deserves more credit. He deserves way more credit than what he got if he was dealing with Pete Carmichael and Dennis Allen. Man, he's a damn genius. He really is that guy. He really is that guy, man. Now we got to watch the Eagles go get Will Anderson or some shit, and he become an all-pro Hall of Famer with our pick. And like I said, I'm not mad that we traded the first-round pick anyway because we got Chris Olave, and that's good enough for me. We got him out of the deal, and that's a win. 
But, man, it'll be nice to be like, hey, let's just tank and get a quarterback. Let's get Bryce Young. Let's get C.J. Stroud. Let's do something. But, nope, we got to try to win some meaningless games at the end of the season with a dumbass head coach and a dumbass offensive coordinator. It's absolutely, I am absolutely dumbfounded like on how he can't use Elvin Kamara. I can use Elvin Kamara better than Pete Carmichael can use him. I promise you. I promise you. When is the last time we thrown a fucking screen to Elvin Kamara? That's what I want to know. A toss. Anything. Absolutely disgraceful, 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 disgraceful. Just meltdown. Complete disaster by this team, man. Complete disaster. Oh. <sighs> Andy Dalton also played well. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Andy Dalton played well, but... <sighs> What a fucking disgrace. What a disgrace, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Shout out to y'all that have been sticking with me through this nonsense, bruh. But, oh, man, I got to watch this film again Wednesday. <sighs> I've even seen, like, some, you know, I don't see, when it comes to this media thing, I'm not, look, I'm not media. I'm just a fan. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Don't think I'm going to be like Nick Underhill or whoever or whoever that works here. Or, I'm not them. I'm not, they lucky I was, I'm not in that room asking Dennis Allen and Pete Carmichael these questions, I promise you. Some of these things, these, uh, like Nick and uh, some of these other guys get off on Twitter, they be scared to say it in front of Dennis Allen's face because they got jobs and stuff, so I understand they got, you know, they got uh, connections and relationships that they don't want to lose. You put me, you put me at one of these press conferences, it's going to get real awkward. It's going to get real awkward for these coaches because I'm going to ask the real questions. I'll ask all the real stuff. So, look, don't look at me as media. I'm just a fan with an opinion. That's all I am. And emotions. And I'm tired of watching these teams. I'm tired of watching. This team is too talented. We got too many good players to be getting ruined by this coaching staff. It's just not fair to those guys, man. A lot of young talent. A lot of even good talent that, that's older. But this coaching staff, absolutely dog shit, man. I seen Sean Payton. He was winning games. He went 9-8 and eight last year. He went 9-8 and eight with... Absolutely no fucking Trevor Simeon was starting games. Ian Book was starting games, man. We had Traquan Smith, Marcus Callaway, Kenny Stills out there. You understand what the hell Sean Payton had and he went nine and eight? What the fuck are you doing, Dennis Allen? P. Carmichael. <sighs> absolutely dog shit, man. So tired of it. So so tired of it. Don't want to see it again. Don't they're beating they're beating the life out of me. Every time I watch, I knew when I was watching the game, getting my hopes up for no fucking reason. I knew what they were going to do. It's a tragedy over here. It's a damn tragedy. We can't even get ready for draft season because we got to miss the first day. <laughs> we got a second round pick. Hopefully, Sean Payton can bring us something. Hopefully, he can bring us a first round pick. Left us high and dry with these two bums, man. I'm about to go tweet him some mean stuff. Not really, though, because Sean Payton, my guy. But, boy, he deserves more credit than he got. At this point, we got a couple games left. It is what it is. I'm going to watch. I can't promise videos. I don't know how that's going to go because, man, at a certain point, at a certain point, you just get tired of this. You just get tired of this nonsense. If we fire some coaches, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly, gladly watch the games and, and report on the games and whatever. I don't care if we out the playoff race. Just to see some, just have some fun. Play the young guys. I want to see some Pete Warner and Caden Ellis linebacker lineup. See how that looks. Play some guys on the practice squad that have that haven't played yet. At this point, if it's over, it's over. I know Dennis Allen's probably at the podium saying some dumb shit right now, but like, oh man, we're gonna continue to progress. The last four games, we're gonna play the hardest we've ever played in our lives. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut up. Shut up. That's what he need to do. I'm tired of that that coach talk. It's over with. It's over with, man. His his career is over with. Actually, thank you, Tom Brady. One thing I can give you credit for, man, you got Dennis Allen fired. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. That's the first good thing you did for me in your career. I got nothing else to say about this team, man. I don't, I'll be back when, when they drop the film on this game, or maybe not. Who knows? Who who fucking knows at this point? As always, man, it's the Blue Tragedies. I'm out. Fucking four wins, trash-ass coach.